Right. So uh, let's first uh, get started with introduction to OWASP Zap. As I mentioned earlier, I'm I'm just sticking to OWASP Zap uh, throughout this uh, talk. Uh, the the core reason is that it is free and open source and uh, it's very easy to use and it has some great features. So Zap is an automate uh, vulnerability scanner for web applications. It is open source and it one of the main uh, features or one of the most important features that I like about Zap is it can be run in daemon mode. So basically you don't have to uh, open the UI uh, to run Zap. You can just run it in background. And apart from that, you can use its REST API to invoke pretty much everything that it has. For example, you can invoke a passive scan or you can invoke an active scan. You can uh, obtain the report after the scan is completed, or you can even uh, uh, check the status of the scan. Let's say you have just invoked uh, active scan using OWASP Zap. Now you can specifically use some API to check the status of the scan, whether it is 30%, 40%, or whatever it is. So, so that's uh, a brief introduction to Zap. I'll show a demo uh, in, in a moment. Uh, and if you are from security testing background, don't worry, I'm not going to waste a lot of time on showing how this scanning works and how to scan with Zap and all that. 